I think there's something really special about building an instrument, especially when it's an instrument that you're going to use for your own music. Something that you're going to put together with your own hands and then eventually operate with your own hands. Live at Instruments Builder Box was this experience for me. I got a chance to forge my own vision. I got a chance to know something from the inside out. And that really appealed to me. My name is GW Childs. And this is a MIDI controller that I built myself with Livid Instruments Builder Box Kit, AKA the Button Box. This is what the kit looked like when I got it in the mail. Doesn't look like much, but when you open it up, you see there's a lot more to it. Here are some of the tools I used. Note the solder iron and the desoldering pump, as well as the crimp tool with the built-in wire cutters. The directions that come with the builder box kit start you off soldering on the diodes that come with it. This is a little tricky at first and I put one on backwards at one point, but once they were all in, I felt a lot more confident in what I was doing. And the confidence was more than helpful in installing the LEDs, though I may have gotten a little too confident with one particular LED. Thankfully, third-party LEDs work, so I went ahead and installed a green one that I bought down the street. The wire cutting reminded me a lot of my old army days. Once you get 24-inch strips made, you begin soldering the cables to the PCB, and then you push them with your fingers into Brain Jr. The Brain V2 config software was really instrumental in helping me devise a button scheme that really worked for me. And it even allowed me to customize how the LEDs worked so that they would stay on all of the time. Once I felt like I had everything working right and I'd cleaned up the PCB, it was time to put the whole thing together. And that's such a cool feeling when you start to put everything in the box. Once it was completely done and I saw it, you know, in my hands finished, I was like, wow, I did this. Really a cool feeling. I couldn't believe that I could just plug it into the USB port on my machine and it was ready to go. Yeah, I'll admit I put some time into this, but it was well worth it. It looks cool and it's crazy durable. Plus, I can always open it up switch out the LEDs, and modify as I need to. But what's even more cool is that I can really say I made this.